USA. Every year, we come up with a lot of new surprises. The kind of excitement the market holds for the investments in EB-5 program specifically is immense. And it gives me immense pleasure to welcome with us today the President of IIUSA, Mr. Bill Presser, and Adam Grenier, who is the uh, Secretary Treasurer. So I won't take much of your time, but I would like Bill to explain more about IUSA, how it functions, and what are the new roles and responsibilities they are uh, looking forward to taking in the near future. Bill, all yours. Oh, man. Thank you very, very much for inviting us here. We're very excited to come again and work with the uh, EPMN and uh, we're really looking forward to it again. So IIUSA, also known as Invest in the USA, is a program, is a company that's designed to be the representative for the industry. In the United States, it's known as a not-for-profit trade association. IIUSA, the members are the largest group of funders of the EB-5 program in the United States. We have the largest number of investors over the years. And IIUSA was started in the mid-2000s, and it's been a very successful industry association. So we represent the largest number of regional centers, as well as the largest number of service providers in the EB-5 industry. So we're very, very proud of the role that we have filled there. One of our major objectives is to work with the U.S. Congress, and Adam's gonna speak in a minute about the new law but we work with the U.S. Congress to ensure the longevity and the success of the EB-5 program, to ensure that it meets the, the requirements of Congress, but also education. And we do a number of, of, of projects that are focused on the education of the industry and of investors. And we foster a sense of integrity in the industry. So again, my, I want to thank you again very, very much. On behalf of IIUSA, we're very, very proud to work with you, and we really look forward to being here and also in the other cities in India over the next couple of days. And again, my name is Adam Green, and I'm the Secretary of Treasurer of Alaya USA. And I just love the work that our trade association does. Uh, Bill and I uh, serve as officers of that trade group, um, but in real life, we are actually competitors. And so this, um, this trade group, does a great job of bringing together a lot of the competitors in the industry to advocate for just an orderly and good um, um, running of the, of the program in the U.S. For example, when this new law was being drafted in 2022, Bill and I worked with one of the um, uh, most well-known and, and best lawyers in the industry, Carolyn Lee, to um, serve as IIUSA's representative um, in negotiating the drafting of the specifics of the law. And in 2022, we ended up with an outstanding law that actually reopened the program um, generally and specifically for investors in India. Um, one, of the, um, one of the issues for Indians who might want to move to the United States on an immigrant visa is that there are very long lines um, for different categories of immigrant visas in the United States. What this new law did was it opened up a new line within the EB-5 program that allowed Indian investors to currently get in. And those lines have been open since 2022, and uh, Indian investors can take advantage of it by investing in certain types of projects sponsored by the EB-5 program, and they will be able to get in in one of the fastest ways um, in, if they choose to move to the United States. The new law created all sorts of other very good investor protections, and we're very proud of what we ended up with. And as an industry trade group, again, as friendly competitors working together, we're um, very proud of where the industry stands today, and we think that that can give confidence to would-be immigrants as they decide to pursue this path. Great. And in a more informed way at the same time. So now I will leave the house open for questions. You can ask the question to our for asking. Um, this is again Bill Gresser, president of IIUSA. One of the things that IIUSA does, as, as I said before, is an educational role. And in our education role is the Passport Series. The Passport Series is, part of that is what we're doing here today, what IIUSA is doing here today is to provide information to investors in their home country. Oh, sure, sure.
Thank you very much. I'm Bill Gresser. I'm the president of IIUSA, the largest industry trade association for the EB-5 Regional Center in the United States. I want to thank everyone very much, Mayank especially, and all of the sponsors who have come together to make this a very, very successful EB-5 program, a passport series here in India. And I'm Adam Green. I'm the secretary treasurer of IIUSA, and we are very pleased to be here with ETMN and uh, really happy about the events they've organized. We're here tonight in Bengaluru, um, but this week we will also be in Ahmedabad and Pune and Mumbai, and we will be here to spread the word about this EB-5 program, which is an excellent job-creating and economic stimulus program for the United States, while at the same time providing a viable and relatively um, quick uh, path to residency within the United States. Thank you. What is this for TB5? Um, as the industry trade group, we are um, continuing to advocate for this program. We have seen that it has been effective in the United States. It has led to the creation of more than 1.35 million jobs over its um, more than 30 year history. And our program um, is uh, a creature of statute. And one of the things IIUSA does is to try to help our Congress, our legislature, understand what a great program this is so that it, continue, it can continue to help create jobs in the United States and to provide a viable path for residency for Indians and everyone else around the world. And from last year, this year, how much you are? We're seeing a significant increase in interest from Indian investors into the U.S. EB-5 program. And part of our role as IIUSA, the trade association, is to provide education so that Indian individuals who may want to move to the U.S. or have children who want to remain in the U.S. are informed and understand that this is a viable option for them and their families to gain residency in the United States.